Okay, uh, so we're going to record another video demo here. Uh, this time how to um, uh, go beyond T-Pose and start to label a dynamic or a moving trial. And in particular, we're going to uh, look at the demo moves trial from um, the subject, Brian, from uh, the first data capture session that we had. So let's uh, open up Vicon Nexus. And when that opens up, again, you should be presented with both the data capture and manipulation window. Uh, and if you don't get the data management window, uh, this button here, the show high data management window, will indeed show the data management window. So what we want to do is we, again, want to look at the demo moves. And you'll see that the little green P marks that we process the T-pose. We want to open up demo moves. So we can uh, double click on demo moves to open that up. And you'll see initially that there's nothing located other than the camera positions and the force plates. So I'm going to turn off the force plates. Uh, and I think I'll actually turn off the camera positions for this demo as well. OK, so right now it looks like we have nothing. But again, the first thing we want to do is look up here uh, onto the menu bar. And we want to run the reconstruct pipeline. And we click that. And you'll see that our dots um, immediately uh, start to be found. Now, it's a good practice to uh, you know, go through the scrub bar and actually see what your moves look like. And this does look like our demo move. So we can go back and forth. We can also hit play, and we can you know, just watch it in real time. Uh, actually, it's real time depending on the uh, processing speed of the computer. So um, it'll try to play real time. Anyway, uh, that aside. Uh, we'll go back to the fir first frame, uh, which looks like a T-pose in this case. And we'll kind of have a look around here. And it looks like there's one extra little dot here. That's just uh, some reflection that's showing up. Uh, don't, don't worry about that. OK, so we can you know, center this up. We can zoom in and out. And you know, I think this is a good view to start with here. So again, uh, let's look at our subject, make sure Brian is loaded. Uh, we will be able to see our segments and our markers and uh, even our joints, but we didn't define any joints. So just, just ignore that for now. Um, we're not going to be doing any modeling in this. That's more for biomechanics. Um, if we come over here, and we're not going to be doing our labeling template, but we are going to be going to our labeling. And you'll see here's our list of dots here. So let's, let's start. Let's label the T-pose. OK, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our left ASI, move over to the right ASI, left PSI, right PSI, sacral dot. We're going to do left front of the shoulder, right front of the shoulder, left back of the shoulder, right back of the shoulder, chest. And rotating around, make sure we're clicking on the right dots, C7, sternum, and T10. OK, that's good. We've labeled our chest, and you can see that it's formed now. OK, so we're going to go left front of the head. And I'm always, again, moving around in 3D, zooming in, rotating. Uh, and left front of the head, right front of the head, left back of the head, right back of the head. And we see our segment forms. OK, so let's label our left arm. So we already have the left uh, shoulder dot here. Let's go to the left elbow, the left arm, the left wrist, the left wrist medial, the forearm, and the finger. OK. So now we'll go to elbow on the right side, right arm, uh, right wrist, right wrist medial, right forearm, right finger. Okay. So now we have our arms done. Let's do our legs. Okay. Left knee, left femur dot. Um, this is going to be our left ankle dot, our left tibia dot. Remembering that the left being low offsets the left femur and the left tibia dot. So this is what we're calling left toe. This is F left MT5, MT1, and heel. And let's do the same thing on the right side. Right knee, uh, right femur dot being offset higher than our left side. Left is low. Um, right ankle, right tibia. We'll go to right toe, right MT5, right MT1, and right heel. OK, that's good. We have our. Uh, subject labeled in the first frame. Again, this dot being an erroneous dot. Just ignore that. OK, so what we want to do is we want to hit the escape or the ESC key on the keyboard. And what that'll do is it'll um, get you out of labeling mode and get you into playback mode so that you can you know, scrub through and you can see how well the subject was 
uh, tracked. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad, but we have to fill some, uh, we have to do some labeling and we have to fill, do some gap filling. Okay, so um, uh, there's a couple of different things that you can do to move forwards and backwards on the timeline. One, you can take the mouse down here and you can scrub forwards and backwards. That's not very accurate. Um, you can use uh, the arrow keys, uh, the keypad, and you can write, uh, if you push the right arrow, that goes forward one frame, and you'll see here you go into frame two when I push. You can probably hear me on the audio clicking the keys. So if I, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and so on and so forth, and we can use the left arrow key to go back, 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 back. Again, we can also use the wheel to do this. If we scroll the wheel up, we can go forward in time, and if we scroll the wheel back, we can go backwards in time. Okay, so we have a number of different ways to, to move around on the timeline. Again, let's, uh, for review, uh, if we want to rotate around, we hold the left mouse button, we can move left or right with the mouse up or down, depending on how we want to rotate. Hold the right mouse button and go down or up to zoom out or in. And we can hold the middle mouse button, not rolling the wheel, and go left, uh, sorry, right or left, up or down and that'll uh, pan the screen around in, um, in our viewport here. Okay, so again, that was a brief review. So now let's, let's find um, where a dot is missing. So again, we wanna rotate around, and I notice the T10 dot is missing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I wanna unselect auto advanced selection, because wh wh watch what happens if I label this T10 dot and I have this checked. I label it and then it jumps down to left front of the head. You don't want to label left front of the head anymore. It's already done. That's convenient for the T pose, but it's not convenient uh, once, once you have most everything labeled. In fact, you can label things incorrectly if you're expecting to always click on T10. So let's uncheck that, and then that won't happen anymore. Okay, so uh, let's find the next place. I'm gonna hold the arrow key in to go forward a little farther. And I notice the left front of the head dot is missing, which indeed we are selected, luckily enough. So I'm gonna click on that, and you'll notice this time, because I don't have the auto advance frame selection uh, selected, I don't advance beyond left front of the head, which is what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the right arrow key in, and I notice this is missing a bit. And so I'm just gonna continue to go through, and I'm gonna you know, label one frame uh, where it seems to be missing, and you'll notice it goes missing here again. And as Brian moves, we'll see that some other dots will, eh, you know, be missing here and there. And we're doing pretty good at this point. Okay, so now I see the sternum dot is missing. So I'm going to select sternum and I'm going to help it out. Okay, so uh, now I notice the left front of the shoulder is missing. So I click on that and I'm going to hold the right arrow key in and advance farther. Okay, so I'm going to go back a little bit now because I noticed that there was a dot missing and now that's the chest dot. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on the chest. And so I'm going to frame advance. And you'll notice that after I clicked on that, the chest disappeared. Well, don't worry about that. We're going to fix that. Okay, uh, but now, now I notice my left heel dot is missing. Um, before we fix the gaps, we want to make sure that we have all the dots labeled that we, we can possibly label. Okay, so um, that's gonna be left heel. And so let's click that. And okay, so now it looks like our right front of the shoulder is, um, is missing. And left front of the head is missing. And so I'm gonna go ahead some more and go back. I'm gonna go back and forth when I see dots show up and disappear. Uh, this dot here, I don't believe that's an actual dot, so I'm just gonna ignore it for right now. Uh, that's gonna be my right front of the shoulder. No, actually, that, yes it is, yes it is, because I rotated around and I made sure of what I was looking at. This is gonna be the right front of the head dot here, so we have uh, right front of the head. And, ah, that's good. I clicked on the wrong thing. I told that dot. Okay, so what we can do is we can go up here to 